Okay, here's the Lens AC Tech VFD. It's uh, this is the plug in the wall uh, 110 model. It's used on our Rhino, uh, the new grind RM 150. Uh, the machine is used for grinding and polishing con concrete, marbles, terrazzo, etc. And we're going to program this. So we're going to show you step by step how to program the VFD and also all of the wiring that's required to uh, remotely start and stop it and also speed control. So let's uh, begin by first of all looking at the wiring. Okay, what we're using is a Phoenix connector. It's a eight wire and as you can see here the pink wire is not used. We're only using seven. So Here's the important one. Number four is yellow. Now it's a common. This is a common wire that is going to go to the stop button, to the start button, forward, and also the start button, uh, reverse or counterclockwise. The red wire is for your stop button. The green is forward. Blue is reverse or counterclockwise, whatever. So you're using one, you're using four, you are using 13A, you're using 13B. These three here, which is two, five, and six, are for your speed control, for your potentiometer. Okay, uh, and I'm going to just show you briefly how this whole entire assembly works. Bear with me a second here. Okay, I'm not going to really move the camera. This is our button system for our start and stop. So you can see, it's not the greatest, but okay. So our harness, there's the, there's the yellow coming in. The stop button, the points are normally closed. Okay, so when you Press the start button, the points open, and the VFD shuts down. We're going common, yellow, over to a, the green button, which we call forward, and then this other button here, which is going to be reverse or counterclockwise. So they have, are fed with the common uh, yellow wire. Okay, there's your green, there's your, your blue. And the other wires are hooked up to just a small potentiometer. This is 100 ohm, and uh, it works absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to put all of this down. Okay. All right, now let's begin the programming. There's going to be quite a few different uh, program parameters that we're going to set, but Super easy. Okay. So you got the M. So I'm going to go through it. The first one, if you got your book, uh, go to page 26. You'll see P100. Press M. Comes up, and we're going to go all the way down to P100. Okay. So it's at P100. We're going to change it from the default zero to one. Okay, so you press it again, and it's at one. So there's zero, one, two, so on. We want one, which is remote uh, control of the VFD through the terminal. Okay, press it again, and it's saved. Press it again. We're now going to go up to P101. That's also on page 26. Do that. Press M again. It is supposed to be set to 1, which it is. Press it again. There you go. And then go up to P102. And P102 is also on page 27. And we're setting this at 20. I'm just going to grab the book and tell you exactly what is going on here. So in the book, on page... 27 
pardon me. Yeah, page 27. So this is going to be the minimum frequency of the motor. And I've got it set for 20 hertz, all right? Keeping in mind that 60 hertz is 1750 RPM, so 20 hertz. Or if we want to, we can uh, quite easily go down to even, if you want to, we can just set her down to anything we want, right down to pretty well zero. But on our, on the Rhino 150, we want to kind of keep it up around this. Okay, so I've saved it. So next one is P103. Let's go there. And P103 is your maximum frequency. Okay, keep it in mind that you can go up to double the frequency of the motor. In other words, we can go to 120 hertz, but we're going to go to 100 hertz. And we're going to leave that alone. Next, we are going to go to P104. Let's just go there. There's P104. It's also on page 27. This is the acceleration time. So in other words, when you hit start, you know, how fast do you want it to reach up to uh, whatever RPM the VFD is at. So I've got it set to 1.5 seconds. Good enough. Same thing. Let's go then to P105. And this is the deceleration time. And I've got it set to 1.5 seconds. So it slows down. It doesn't slow down instantly. It sort of just throttles down. So that's done. The next one is we're going to jump to page 28 and we're going to go to P112. All right, let's go there. Okay, now, one, one, P112, this is important because this is the rotation. So the default is zero. So in other words, the motor will only go in a forward or clockwise rotation. But our floor grinder has got both clockwise and counterclockwise. So we want to select both. And this is what we're going to do, which is now going to be one, which is forward and reverse. It is now saved. Okay. Moving on down, we're going to go to P121. And P121 is found on page 30. And this is where you actually set up your wiring to control the entire VFD. So P121 is what we need. There it is. And P121, we are going to pick uh, 11. And 11 means start forward. Okay? We're then going to go to P122. Enter that. We have 12, which is start reverse or start counterclockwise. And that is saved. Okay. We're now going to go to P160. There it is. Okay. P160 is on page 34 of your book. You go there to P160. Speed at minimum signal, we have it set for 20 hertz. This is the VFD, uh, the potentiometer control. Okay, um, let's go to P161. I got it set for a maximum of 100 hertz. So the potentiometer will only allow this. And this can go up to 120 if you want, but we've left it there at 100. The next one is really cool, okay? This is P178. Let's go there. 178. And if you go to the book, it's on page 36. This is um, allows you to set the run screen display, okay? Um, now, the book says, example, if P178 equals 29.17 and actual frequency equals 60 hertz, 
then the drive displays 1750 RPM. So, in other words, if you, if you want to have the actual motor RPM shown on the screen, okay, you need to set this for 29.17. Okay, so 29.17 times 60 equals 1750. Now, on our unit here, we have got a reduction happening. Um, the motor has got a 22 tooth. The driven is 64 tooth. So what we have is 10.01. And so that is going to give us the correct final RPM of the, the heads which drive the, the diamond segments. So this thing is done. It's completely programmed. So let's fire it up. We're going to hit the green button. There is 200. This is actual final drive on the drive heads of the floor grinder, 200 RPM. And we're going to ramp it right up. 1,001 RPM. We're going to stop it and then we hit reverse. And there you go. And she's done. Very simple to control. The Phoenix connectors are the eight wire. We have hundreds in stock. If you want to get one from us, just uh, email us or whatever. And this video is done. I hope this uh, helps you in your programming.